guys and girls, and thank you for watching another episode of the Xbox Tester. My name is Maurice. Today we're going to play Dolmen on Xbox Series S. So this game just came out like last week or so. And um, yeah, it's a different kind of game, but also not that different. So let's get into it. First of all, let's see how much data this game is. And that's 7.9 GB. It's not on Game Pass or anything. I think you can buy it for like 40 euros. Still a little bit steep. But yeah, if you are into this genre of games, it's okay. The game is fully optimized for the new generation of consoles. It's a, a Gen Scarlet Xbox Gen 9. By the way, big shout out to Koch Media for sending me a key for this game. So I could test it out on my channel. I'm not getting paid for this video. So it will be uh, unbiased. Let's go start it up. You guys. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot for me, you really helping out the channel. You can also hit the bell icon. I upload almost on a daily basis, new games, old games, updates on games, and a little bit of hardware here and there. So, Dolmen. I think it's a game made in South America, Brazil, I think, if I'm correct. Correct me if I'm wrong, by the way. It has two different graphical options. One, a performance mode, later more on that. And we've got a 30 FPS, 1440p ray tracing mode. That's the first one I'm going to try right now. So yeah, you can already see the difference between the two. And this is very cool. Here you can really see what ray tracing does. I love this so much. Normally, it's always really hard to show off what ray tracing actually does. But with this, you can actually switch the ray tracing on and off. And there's so much difference, like the light effects. And, you know, you see that red blinking light on the other side at the, at the, the right side of the screen. But when you are going to quality mode, you see a little bit of that red light reflecting on the left Pod. how cool is that so yeah i think it's a really cool tech game to show off what ray tracing can do let's go start it up continue i've already played a little bit of this game it's ultra hard by the way so if you are into games like dark souls or uh, Demon Souls or Elden Ring, you will love this game probably. Because it's a lot like those games. So right now I'm playing on ray tracing uh, mode. It's a 1440p. Yeah, it still needs to load in all the graphics. Oh, and this game is so ultra hard. You can also shoot. That's that's a cool thing. But yeah, it looks amazing. Is it a really good game? <sighs> yeah, I think that really depends on you. I think it's even for people that would like games like dark souls and stuff i think this this is definitely a mediocre souls like game it has a little bit like dead space feel about it it also has a little bit of um, metroidvania even because it's like yeah you need to get up and up and up and up and yeah it gets so so extremely hard after a few hours um yeah let's get to the the other mode performance this is my favorite way to play it did i do it correctly yeah so um i did some tests on this so this is also 1440p 
ray tracing is off but it's not a steady 60 fps not in a long time it's like yeah from what i can gather it's uh, around 45 45 till 50 fps most of the time and i'm dead already this is how hard this game is. Timeline erased. But still, I think it's a really good looking game. It's... In the graphics department, it's definitely a top 10, maybe even, games I've seen. In the resolution department and even ray tracing department. Sadly, the gameplay is just not. Yeah. Meh. I think that's the best way to describe this game. Meh. Here we go. It's not bad. But yeah, it's just a run in the mill game. thought so yeah it's definitely not my type of game i really 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 still don't like souls like games and i don't think it will ever happen the first souls like game that i like is still need to be made But yeah, you guys, this is Dolmen running on the Xbox Series S. Like I said, if you are into these kind of games, definitely go check it out. It's not a really expensive game. Uh, it's okay. If you are done with uh, Elden Ring, then maybe you could give it a try. But otherwise, I you would say, yeah don't bother Other, or wait for a deep 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 sale for like less than 10 euros or something i think that's a fair price for this game <laughs> you guys i really want to thank you for watching i hope you had fun i hope to see you guys soon in another one bye